Pepperoni pizza is my favorite. I'm In the news fan. today, we'll right have a story now, about Miss Womack watching numbers on Hulu. Right. and information I'm about outside date forms. Hey, I'm Brooklyn. And I'm Cade, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Kate, are you excited for homecoming? Not really, but I'll probably go anyways. With homecoming right around the corner, Emory went out and found out more information about outside dates. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mrs. Barnett and she's going to talk to us about the outside date forms. So, what are they for? The forms are for any student um, that attends Seaman High School here that is wanting to bring a date that does not attend school here. When are they due? They are available starting tomorrow, Tuesday the 10th, and they are available until the 24th. They are due the 24th at 3.15. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, don't be late. Get them here as soon as you can. Um, it makes it much easier on me to process and get a list ready. All right. Thanks, Mrs. Varner. Now back to your anchors. Make sure you stop by the office to pick up an outside day form. Switching stories, we have been covering a lot of new teachers. Here is Ms. Womack, the new history teacher. Pepperoni pizza is my favorite. I'm a big Royals fan. Right now, I'm binge watching numbers on Hulu. Sonic drink, cherry, vanilla, Dr. Pepper. When people try to get your attention and they like snap to try to get your attention, that's a pet peeve yes. of mine. I went to Emporia State University. I was there for two years and then before that, I was at Allen Community College. This is my very first year, first school. I did student teach here last year. As, yeah. I teach U.S. history, civil and criminal rights, and race and ethnic relations. I love everything about Seaman. Uh, the students are great. The teachers are awesome. I just love the environment. Here's Brooklyn with your daily map. Here's Brooklyn with your daily announcements. Scholar Bowl is having trials tomorrow morning. Wednesday is District Wellness Night, and Robotics Club will have meeting after school September 12th. Mrs. Noble is looking for some students who would like to do job shadow and learn about different careers. Fill out the application on Schoology to apply. Key Club is having a meeting tomorrow morning. Also, the Key Club is having a lip sync battle on September 19th. If you want to show your skills, sign up with Mr. Cromie. Now over to sports with Cade. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher, and I used to not be able to do parkour. You see, I got so tired because I had a lack of vitamins. But with the help of salad, I've got all the vitamins I need. I can just nozzle this stuff down. Mmm, delish. And now I have all the vitamins to do all this great parkour. To your regularly scheduled program. Mason and Jason are twin brothers. They are not similar, according to others. They obtain jobs at the bank, but who will rank and who will draw a blank? When coming to soft skills, Mason knew just what to do. Unfortunately, Jason had no clue. Working hard every day to stay ahead, while Jason would rather lay in bed. Mason arrived to work in a timely manner, but Jason was not a very good planner. In life and work, you will succeed making soft skills something you need. If soft skills are what you want to explore, go to mysoftskills.org to learn more. Congratulations to the Lady Vikes cross country team on the third place finish at Manhattan Cross Country Invitational. Also, congratulations to the varsity tennis team. The team competed at a Seaman Invitational this past Saturday and the entire team took first place. The first Vikings United sports basketball practice will be after school tomorrow from 3.15 to 4.15 in the North Gym. The wrestling team is putting on a kickball classic on, Saturday, er, on September 29th. The cost is $80 and the deadline is September 20th. Now over to Josh with the weather. All right, it's a Monday fun day, and boy, is it sure a fun day for weather. Here's your headlines for the rest of this week. Some storms are possible late tonight into Tuesday morning. We'll take a look at the timing coming up in just a minute. 
And then we're tracking some breezy winds for Wednesday before a cold front ushers in some stronger thunderstorms for your Thursday. So let's go ahead and break this down for you, starting with the rain chance by 7 o'clock this evening. Just a very slight chance of rain, the better chance holding off until we get after midnight. You can see here by 1 a.m. some scattered showers and thunderstorms, and those will continue off and on throughout the morning tomorrow. There is a slight chance that the commute to school tomorrow will be wet, but the good news is that by the afternoon, here's 1 o'clock, you can see the state is dry. So the second half of your Tuesday is looking dry. Then Wednesday, dry weather continues, but again, we have to deal with the winds that could be gusting between 30 and 50 miles per hour at times out of the south on Wednesday. Then the most active day of this week comes on Thursday, a cold front approaches from the west, and that introduces a chance for some stronger thunderstorms as we head into Thursday afternoon. We'll have to keep you updated on this potential, so stay tuned as we get just a little bit closer. And now, if you're resting TV 7-day forecast, you can see that that cold front on Thursday does cool us down for Friday with highs in the upper 70s. It's going to be a very comfortable end to the week. A slight chance of rain Saturday morning, but otherwise the weekend, we start to warm back up with highs approaching 90 by Sunday. Now, Caden Brooklyn, back to you. Thank you, Josh. This is all we have for today. Tomorrow we'll be back with two, ne two new teacher speeches. Have a great day, Vikes.